This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. This is a video that I've wondered about how I would make it and I sort of wanted to talk about it and sort of not wanted to talk about it for a little while um, because I didn't want to seem like relentlessly negative about a thing or kind of I felt like there was not really too much point in sharing it because I felt like it was maybe just me or something like that anyway so around the time that Neural DSP with the quad cortex you, you may or may not remember there was a data leak I can't remember the exact details of it, but basically in the error logs, it did not encode uh, users' Wi-Fi passwords and stuff like that. And they were quite slow to actually deal with this. If you, There is a forum post where basically they were notified of this by people for a while and it took them a while to figure this out. Um, anyway, around that time, I decided I've kind of had enough of this as a product, um, there have been other things, you know, that have happened along the time. Basically, when I first got the Quad Cortex, uh, I was on the pre-orders, um, and at the time, I was one of the few people that was kind of doing quite a bit of live streaming with it and showing how you could do bits and pieces with it. Um, Doug was in my DMs, and uh, one of the guys, the marketing manager, Dan, was in my DMs as well. Um, they kind of went a little bit quiet when I started giving some opinions about some of the bits of gear and kind of comparing it to competitors and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if I rubbed them up the wrong way with that. But that's kind of beside the by because the reason I was making the videos in general were for um, Quad Cortex users like maybe yourself. You probably have noticed that I've not been doing anything with the Quad Cortex for quite a while now. The reason being, I sold it around the time of that data breach news and I got a message from the guy shortly afterwards saying, I'm getting this boot failure thing happening. Basically, what happens with this particular thing, you turn on the quad cortex and it kind of runs, it seems to be running normal for a while and then just this boot failure will restart and this cycle keeps happening. You can kind of restart the quad cortex and um, start it factory fresh and all that sort of stuff and it kind of doesn't really work um, I said send it back to me 
and I'll take a look at it. Um, here's the thing, it says on the Quad Cortex on the Neural DSP website that the Quad Cortex doesn't have a transferable warranty. So this is exactly the reason I'm making this video because you might buy a used Quad Cortex or you might be thinking about buying one uh, or you might own one like I did. So I bought it off of a mate of mine, Dave, and luckily it was within the warranty period and luckily I know Dave and I said, look, this has happened, can I send it back to you and you send it to Neural DSP? And I think the process took about a week to arrange for them to collect it and send it back. And when it came back, it turned out that there had been a CPU failure and also the outputs were something like, or one of the outputs or maybe both were a certain a DB too quiet. So there was indeed a fault with it that kind of occurred out of nowhere because I didn't gig that unit heavily. Um, so I don't know exactly what happened there. They didn't say what had happened. Um, basically, I sold that unit on because it was like, I don't really want to have this anymore. And I think this is quite common within the quad cortex world, right? People have been keen to try them. They might not keep them for very long. They sort of float about in the used market and they change hands quite frequently. Um, and I've got another friend who basically has just heard from a person who bought his off of him, like maybe a year ago, his has stopped working. And then anecdotally on a forum that I, I visit, a guy knows two people that have had units go bad on them and they've sent them back and then sold the units on uh, once they get the, the new or refurbished units back. Um, so it's a little bit of a worry for me, especially if you look on their website and see that it's a non-transferable warranty. That's the reason for making this video is because it's like, ugh. But I did email support and support do get back to you really quickly, by the way. So credit to NeuroDSP for that. Um, and I said, if I buy a used unit or if I had a used unit and had a problem, what is the policy? Um, do you, can I get it repaired? Uh, and basically what they came back and said was that they are honoring warranty now for people that didn't want the original purchases. So what I would have said is you need to really kind of stay in contact with whoever you buy a quad cortex off. It kind of helps if you buy off a friend, if you're going to buy a used one or buy new. Um, but if they're going to continue kind of honoring warranties with people that have even bought used, that to me seems like good news. Line six have a transferable warranty as long as you have the original proof of purchase. So I would suggest that might be a good idea for the quad cortex anyway, is if you're going to buy a used one, make sure that they have a proof of purchase, probably a good idea. I think G66, the warranty follows the unit. Uh, so this fractal. So if you buy a fractal unit, the warranty follows that for whatever the warranty period is, I think three years. Um, hopefully it's not a thing you need to necessarily worry about, but since I've been hearing, you know, anecdotally people that I know that have experienced units breaking, I felt like I should share that. Um, that's what happened with my unit and uh, that's why I don't have one anymore even though I think there are some really cool tones that can be had with it and I yeah I just felt like my journey with the neural DSP quad cortex kind of seized around the time I saw that data breach and how they handled it I wasn't the biggest fan um, so that's kind of what that is uh, the presets that I made on the cloud, I believe are still there. If you're digging those, I was using Corey Wong in the start of this. I think some of the plugins still sound great, um, but I think the quad cortex has soured a few things for me personally, um, certainly around that kind of data breach and around kind of some of the promises that were made about launch and, you know, this far down the road, we're expecting this. And now it maybe looks like some of the hardware is not the most robust if you're getting CPU failures at a rate or, you know, bricked units at a rate that I wouldn't expect anecdotally, just, you know, from people that I know, what's that for broken units? It's a little bit strange to me. Um, seems like a lot, maybe it's not. Uh, I've had Helix, the things that have gone wrong on my HX stomps, H HX stomps are the encoders get a bit funny, but I've not had one break yet. Um, 
but I guess there's still time. So yeah, digital modelers break. I think it's important how these things are handled if they're within a warranty period. Good news is that Neural DSP at the time of making this video, um, and let me know in the comments if this has not been true for you, seem to be honoring warranties even if they're not from the original purchaser, which is great news and good work, Neural, I think.